Hey you guys, so I wanted to come on here and do another instrument video because a lot of you guys were saying that the music was too loud and that video is supposed to be educational. Yeah, so how are you guys supposed to learn if you guys can't hear? So I decided to redo it since I got a lot of people saying that the music was too loud. So here we are today. So this is going to be a video of the names of the basic instruments that we use in our basic instrument pack and I just wanted to show you guys how our cassettes look. So this is the, cas the cassette here and I'm going to open it and show you guys how it looks. So you just twist it on the side here and then it opens and it detaches as well. So all of our instruments have this color on it. They have different colors, but we keep the same color in one cassette so that none of the instruments are misplaced. We all know where they go. They're all color coordinated. So if an instrument is misplaced or happens to fall out of the cassette during sterilization, you would know that the green goes with green. This is what they look like right here. They're called silicone color coat rings and they have a bunch of different colors. So you just choose one color for each cassette. That way you can keep them organized. I'm sure a lot of people do this, but if you don't know, now you know. So yeah, I'm going to take these instruments out of the cassette and I'm gonna lay them out and then we will get into the names and what all of the instruments do okay so here are all of the instruments laid out so this is a mirror and this is just used to look in the patient's mouth to look around at the teeth you can also retract with this yeah it's just a mirror self-explanatory so next we have an explorer and this is used to check for any cavities and it's just pointy on both sides. This is what it looks like. And this is called an explorer. Next one is a scaler. It kind of looks like an explorer, but it's a little bit thicker as you can see. It is still pointy, but it's just a little thicker. And this is used this is used to clean off any cement, any buildup. We mostly use it to clean off cement or anything like that. Hygienists use scalers as well, but they have a bunch of different scalers. And I don't know the technical name for this one, but it's just a scaler to us. Next, I have a small spoon. It's just a baby tiny spoon. That's what it looks like. And it's small on both sides. One side is a tiny bit bigger than the other. And this is used to clean out any decay, anything that is soft. Doctor likes to use this to, to grab any decay or when there's a huge spot of decay and it's just easier to scoop out and there's also a bigger spoon this is what it looks like for any bigger spots of decay this is what he likes to use it for and by the way every office is different everybody has their own setup these are just the basic instruments that we use um, so yeah this is a condenser this is used to pack down composite and this is what it looks like there's a bigger side and then the other side is smaller i'm really loving how this camera is focusing it looks really good but yeah one side is small one side is big depending on the size of your filling um, and yeah this is called a, a condenser next we have a ball burnisher 
looks like a football on one side and then the other side hopefully I'm not going too fast but the other side is just a round ball and this is used to smooth out the composite and you can also use this as a condenser as well and I like to use this with um, some bonding agent and just smooth out my composites. Next, I have a plastic instrument. Um, this is used for composites as well. And it's flat on both sides. that's called a plastic instrument next I have a perio probe a perio probe is used to measure the gum tissue um, you can see those lines and those are the millimeters for you to measure we hardly use these on doctor's side but when we do it's nice to just have them in your instrument pack mostly those are used on the hygiene side next i have two cotton pliers one for assistant one for doctor um, the assistant one i use to grab things out of my drawers so i don't have to take off my gloves you don't want to use your dirty gloves to grab things out of the drawers so instead of wasting time and taking off a glove and putting a glove back on, um, I just use my cotton pliers to grab things out of the drawer. And be sure if you're going to do that to not use these on anything that came out of the patient's mouth or to use them in the patient's mouth. Do not do that. You can use doctor's forceps to do that. Usually the doctor's forceps are the ones to go in the patient's mouth. Next, I have a articulating paper holder. This is used to hold the articulating paper and articulating paper is used to do bite adjustments. So that's what that looks like. And you just squeeze both sides to open it and you just slide your paper on the end of there and it holds your articulating paper. So last two things are air water tips one is for doctor's side one is for assistant side of course um, these are used to attach to the the air water and they just squirt out air or water so that is all of the instruments i hope you guys enjoyed i will have all of these instruments listed down below um, if you guys have any questions please be sure to leave them down below as well i hope this video is a little bit better than the other one i thank you guys for watching that other video even though the music was loud it did really good so yeah i hope you guys learned from this video if you guys have any other type of instruments that you guys want me to go over like like extraction instrument i can do that just let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye